Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. I believe they say we got maybe five to six inches last night of snow, which is for my area uh, quite a bit. We don't usually get a lot of snow, uh, but that means today, unless it's an emergency, I'm not doing it. So what better day than to grab this coffee and let's go ahead and get some tools out and talk about them. See you in the garage. I decided that on today's tool talk, I wanted to talk about the Knipix Cobra pliers. And I'm gonna call them channel locks more than likely throughout this video a lot. I know that that's not what they are. They're tongue and groove pliers. Can also be called water pump pliers, but I have grown up around channel lock brand pliers my entire life. And that's just what I call them. I know there's a lot of people that do the same exact thing. But the reason why I decided that I'd talk about these today is because I mentioned in my MCT loadout and then also in my TP4B loadout about how great that these are and how much I really like them. And I have conversations with people on job sites quite often whenever I'm telling them about these and they say, well, how much are they? And then I tell them they're around 30 bucks. They say, well, that's, that seems pretty expensive. And it, in comparative to maybe some of the other pliers that you buy, they're about double the price sometimes, but sometimes if you buy a quality pair of another brand, the price difference may only be five, six, seven dollars somewhere around in that range. And this isn't gonna be a review on these. I just wanna give you my number one reason why I think that they're better. I, you know, I could talk about how I think that the teeth are stronger than all these other ones, which I do think that they are. And I could talk about how skinny this head is in comparison to some of the other brands. And that allows me to get in some tight spaces. Uh, I could probably talk about the steel if I knew anything about that, but I don't. But the bottom line is these teeth and the teeth of the other ones are going to work for 99% of people out there that use these how they're intended to be used. And I'm sure that the steel of all these will hold up if you use these pliers as they're intended to be used. So the number one difference to me is what sets these apart in function compared to the other ones. Because everything else, I could probably get similar results out of no matter what pair you hand me. But the biggest thing that is functionally different to me with these Knipix Cobras is the way that the two handles of the pair of pliers interlock with one another, how they slide in and out. But you can see on this, they're not touching at any point. No matter what size I go to, they're not touching. And what that allows for, and I probably won't be able to get this real clear because it's hard to see, but if, you, if I push that on my finger and I, I've got these all the way closed and I squeeze this tight, you can watch my skin kind of in and press in. You got just a little bit more grip capability. I'm able to, whatever size this is, I'm able to squeeze and get just a little bit more grip onto whatever it is that I'm dealing with. If you look at any of these other pairs, and again, Knipix may not be the only ones out there. I've not used every pair of uh, tongue and groove pliers that's out there on the market. But every other pair I have, the handles always touch together at some point except for whenever you have them at the smallest possible point. So if I move to adjust to any other size, these are touching, which means I cannot squeeze that handle any farther. Uh, so whatever size that that is, if I have something that is real close to that, I won't be able to get any extra grip on whatever that is I have it on, whether it's a pipe, a fastener, a nut, whatever it is, I won't be able to do that. You can see, you know, you move up into any other size of the channel locks. Same exact thing. They're still touching each other. So I can't get any extra grip whatsoever. That's that's as close as they're gonna become. Uh, Milwaukee's, same exact way. These actually, whenever you move them, if you grip real tight, they'll actually slide and pinch and man, that hurts your, that'll hurt your hand whenever you do that. But you can use that as that extra leverage if you need to, but you're lucky if you don't end up with the with a bruise because of that. The only other pair that is similar, and it's because it's got the same kind of style deal, it's got this button, 
and I used to use these a lot. These were whenever these first came out, man, I thought these were these were it. And but they still do the same thing. You can see that as you go to different sizes, they begin to touch in different places. This one has a point right there that touches as you get into these middle sizes. And then as you get up here to the top, it looks like they're not touching anywhere on the handle. But if you look down inside of here, the two pieces actually touch right there. So there's a few sizes on this pair up at the top that you're able to get that extra on, but not on every size. And what that equates to is whatever size that this is, if you find something out there that fits exactly in there, you'll never be able to get a really strong grip on that. And I noticed this whenever I had a friend of mine who was trying to take the bonnet nut off of a Delta Shire valve. And if you don't know what that is, I'll put a picture of it in right here. But he was taking that off and it just so happened to be it was right at the max of a pair of these exact Milwaukee uh, channel locks. And as he was trying to take it off, it just kept sliding. He could not get any grip whatsoever. Well, I went in. He asked me to come over and take a look at it. I went in and I didn't take any of my tools in because he had his in there. And I kept trying and trying and could not get it off whatsoever. And I said, this is silly. Let me go out to my truck. And I went straight out. I got my pair of Knipix 10 inches, put it on the size, and literally within a few seconds, I had that bonnet nut released from the valve and I was able to get out that cartridge and we were able to get that changed. So it's a matter of having the fact that I can have all those sizes, but I can also get that just little bit of extra grip whenever I use these pliers and compared to others. Now, most situations, you're not gonna run into where I'm maxed out on these. Uh, so for the normal user, uh, you may not have an issue with this. That may not be a problem. But if you use tools for a living, if you make money using tools and you run into situations, you know how good it is when you've got the one that works every time you need it to, no matter what the situation is. And that's why the Knipix Cobras are number one in my opinion. That's the number one thing that sets them apart from every other pair of pliers that are out there. And it, Knipix also has the same thing set up on their Raptors that I have. Also, it's a very similar setup on the plier wrench. You know, you, the handles are never quite touching each other. So they've, they have figured that out on all their pliers, and that's why I have switched to them. And maybe someday someone else is going to come out with something that just sets them above Knipix. And at that point, I will probably change to them. I'm not dead set on no one could ever take the throne of the Knipix Cobras. But right now, they are king to me. And they are number one. And the number one reason why is I can just grip things better with these than I can with any other pair. And it's simply because the handles never touch each other. And it allows you to squeeze and just get that extra little oomph on whatever it is that you're doing. So maybe you've been on the fence about getting these and you just don't understand what all the hype is and why people like, like these so much. Again, there's several other qualities about them that are great but they're not something that sets them f so far apart from the others that makes them functionally different, but this does. I hope that's interesting to you. I hope that shows some clarity to you on why I think these are so good. Uh, such a great set of pliers, and I would recommend anybody to get them a pair of these, uh, and I, I don't think you're going to be disappointed one bit. Uh, hope all is well with each and every one of you, and I hope that you have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys on the next video.